Good morning. Johnny Flores here, volunteer pastor and Iron Horse Saints chaplain here at Calvary. Have you ever seen something far off in the distance and you thought, wow, that looks pretty good. But upon closer inspection, you were disappointed. From a distance, that thing looked pretty good, but it turned out to be nothing. Well, in Mark chapter 11, verses 12 and four, through 14, we're told that Jesus was hungry. Seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he could find something to eat. Well, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not the season for figs. In response, Jesus said, let no one eat from this fruit ever again. And his disciples heard it. You know, when I first read these two verses for the first time, I thought, that's kind of harsh, Jesus. I mean, why would you curse the fig tree like that? It never did anything to you. Here's the thing. As it often happens, Jesus is pointing out to something deeper, a deeper meaning, something that we can learn. The fig tree was a form of false advertising. From a distance, it had leaves and it looked pretty good, but it had no fruit. For example, this morning, you are watching me at a distance on this video, and I don't know, maybe you think I look like a pretty good guy. One might think of me as a man of prayer, someone who has, uh, who has been a faithful churchgoer, perhaps someone who even tithes. I mean, after all, I am wearing an, an official cavalry t-shirt, so it must mean that I must bear some kind of good fruit, but not so fast. We usually look at people but we mostly see what is on the surface, like an iceberg where the majority of the ice is below the surface. The truth is, Jesus sees deep, deep into us. He searches us and he knows our hearts. I mean, we can pretend uh, and hide our real selves from people, but we cannot hide from Jesus. He sees and he knows us through and through and knows not only what's on our surface or on the surface, he understands what motivates us at our core. As a kid, I picked strawberries in Southern California, and I had to inspect each and every hand-picked fruit. If it passed inspection, I would toss it into the box, but if it did not, I probably threw it at the guy in the next row when the boss wasn't looking. While Jesus is the master fruit, inspector and nothing escapes his gaze he sees whether or not our lives have a healthy kind of fruit that he seeks or not this means we must or i must ask myself do i bear the kind of fruit that comes from my fallen nature or have i decided to bear the kind of fruit that jesus seeks love joy peace forbearance kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. It is a fact that we all go through difficulties in life, and sometimes we have to interact with difficult people. But what type of fruit do those situations and circumstances bring out in us? Allow me to ask you this question this morning. What type of fruit do you bear upon close inspection? Now remember, Jesus is the master fruit inspector. Like the fig tree in today's passage, do we look good from a distance? Are we false advertising and posing like we're spiritual, spiritually mature so that others can think highly of us? Or is it love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control? Good fruit doesn't, doesn't just happen overnight. We must each decide to practice bearing good fruit, pleasing fruit, the kind of fruit that Jesus hungers for. God bless you this morning with every good and perfect thing that comes from him.